every goddamn <laughs> fucking week. You late. Dude. I'm sick of your shit. That's fine. No. I'm not late. I'm actually early. No. You said last <laughs> week you can't be late because you're on the building, but that's not the point. No, you can't be late. It's impossible. Anyways. And uh, you know what's fucked up? This is the part that's really fucked up. I was just eating breakfast. And I fucking it's forgot fucking about it. It's fucking one. <laughs> it's one o'clock. Dude, I was just over there eating breakfast. I wasn't doing shit. It's the third time you forgot about us. Dude, I was just The third doing time shit. you forgot, I called you. Oh, yeah, I forgot you know, about I'm the podcast. Protesting. I got to turn around. I'm protesting because I feel like Rashid should be here. Rashid is dead. This might be true. <laughs> Alejandro. Alejandro killed, killed this him, man. Took his girl. Yeah. Took his girl. Damn. I didn't know that part. <laughs> took, yeah, took his girl. That didn't happen. And, That's fiction. And, and broke his arm. <laughs> That's, That's fucked, fucked up. up. All that, in one night. That's a terrible That's night. literally fucked up. You know what else is fucked up? Jim Brown died, man. Let's give it up for Jim Did Brown. He? he died this morning. Fuck. 87. Yeah. Sorry, Jim man. Jim Brown, man. That, that guy was super radical. You yeah. know what? I know Jim Brown's wife. I got to I gotta reach out to her. Yeah. Fuck. Damn. Damn. Looks Damn. like he's going to miss out on those reparations. He no, fought. No, he no. Pro- he fought pretty hard for those. <laughs> no, I know he was. He fought for. He was pretty uh, yeah. inspirational in those, you know, race debates per se. Yep, she right here. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Are you shooting people now, John Morant, motherfucker? I take a pistol everywhere now. <laughs> Hey, no, but you know what's crazy about the John Morant? Smoke! Now, this is crazy about the John John Morant thing, right? When I looked at it... Please tell me. No, I understand that they say he works for a corporation. (laughs) I understand he works for a corporation, and it's got, I guess it's a slight or a slant towards the corporation. But in Memphis, there's... You don't you don't have need a permit. You don't need shit. You can just walk around with a gun. So technically, he's not breaking any laws at all. That's, breaking, but that's not the point. He's breaking the NBA law. Well, okay, no, the NBA is not. Uh, 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 is there? There are no laws. Since when? There might be corporate practices, but there are no laws. It's not breaking it's not a law. You're not breaking the law when you fucking punch somebody on the basketball court either. But you're still gonna get suspended. They have their own rules. Yeah, they have rules, but they're not laws. Well, no one's sending him to jail. So, so are you saying he shouldn't get suspended? <laughs> I'm saying it's, I mean, he didn't break a law. So are you saying he now, shouldn't get suspended? So now, now, it's different when, when you beat up your girlfriend or you beat up your wife or, you know, you kick, you punch your teammate because that's technically that's considered assault. But I'm trying to find the logic here. Like I was listening to ESPN, and I um I can't remember who it's brought JJ it up. JJ Reddick, huh? Yeah, JJ, JJ Reddick. Reddick brought it he up. brought it up, and I was sitting there like, he got a point. Yeah. It's not. I mean, it's, well, his main point was was that there's pictures of these politicians out here that are strapped up with fucking semi-automatic weapons with their four-year-old kids, and then the next day, it's there's, false a mass, equivalency. there's a mass shooting in their fucking city, and they don't get reprimanded, or they don't get talked down upon, or, like, if there's John all these Morant, different people that, like, post about, you should buy more guns, and there's no, repara- there's no fucking punishment for them, then why are we trying to punish a 23-year-old black man playing basketball? I don't understand the association with him wanting to carry guns and that being a frown on the NBA. Because there's still a bunch of people walking around this planet, at least in the United States, that feel like, hey, you have the right to bear arms. Yeah, it's literally an amendment. Yeah, I know. So The, the second one. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. So <laughs> I'm sitting there like, how can they punish him for that? He's putting, I feel like he's putting himself in danger. That's number one. Okay. That's a personal that's his preference. Fault. That's his personal preference. I don't think it's a good look in the NBA if you have like a. How is it a bad look when as a, as a, the United States as a whole, we're saying, look, you should have the right to bear arms. You should have the right to protect yourself. We have these other crazy rules in Florida where, what's the rule? 
Like if you open carry, open yeah, open carry. But oh, what's the uh, uh, stand your ground? Yeah, stand your ground. We have this, in, and and Florida's not the only state Which that has Florida a stand should your not ground. have. That should be the last state to have. <laughs> There's that a bunch of law. states that have stand your ground, and you're you're literally in some of these environments. And I don't know if Memphis is one of those places. You want oh, it's a stand your is, ground. It, it's open carry. It's open carry, but is it a stand your ground state? Mm, I think t- Florida's the only my, dumb fucks my, that have that. No, I think, no, there's definitely other states. My whole thing is like, maybe he should have a gun. Maybe he maybe he feels threatened of some form. I, I have no problem with him carrying a gun. Okay. This is... A, so you, you have a th- problem th- with the video? There's a problem with the video. And, nah. I, and I'm going to name it. He didn't him. take the video. It's not like he's out here. Po- it's like his homeboy flashed over yeah, there. The and first he video, he took that video. And then the homeboy, like, you know, he saw that he was filming and then he took out the gun. This is why I think it's a bad situation. Okay. I, I believe he should have a gun. He should. He's in Memphis. However. <laughs> and I heard Memphis is like one of the biggest crime. Memphis fucked exactly. up. Yeah. So young Dolph from Memphis. Right. He got shot and killed buying cookies. We have situations like Pop Smoke. A, a bunch of rappers take well, I mean, off. Pop die. Smoke was L.A. Yeah, but, but like it's throughout the United States. And right. it's, it's this culture that he's representing. The NBA young boy culture. Uh, that goes against a bunch of people, Little Dirk, King Von, who is dead. And the NBA fears that if he goes down this rabbit hole, some more bad things could happen because there's a lot of jealous people who wants to take somebody's chain. This is the whole thing. The jealous people aren't going anywhere. And if I don't have a gun and they have a gun, I'm putting myself in a situation. I think maybe he honestly may honestly feel, I wonder if he could be honest about the situation and say, hey, guess what? I feel like, I feel like I'm, I'm, you know, I'm being threatened out here. I feel like I need protection. Who, you know why he's being threatened though? Did you hear about? Did you hear that crip? Oh I yeah, crip I, I seen about. that. I sent it to you. Yeah, he's throwing up gang signs and shit on the court. See now, I he's don't gonna know get. If, he's gonna get in fucking trouble. And he's they, he was saying he's you're gonna have to pay the crips. You're gonna have to pay us to keep doing that shit. And he said you're not about that fucking life. You don't come from that. You don't know nothing about the fucking streets. And now you're out here representing something you have nothing to do with. He is going to get hurt. Okay, that that's situation. a whole nother subject. But, but why would you want to put yourself in that situation? Well, you if didn't he wants come... to be an idiot, he can be an idiot. Yeah. That's, that's his choice. Okay, yeah, and, but then, the, and then the, the NBA, NBA has a choice. Like, how being an does idiot. The NBA, that's his so employment. How is the NBA being affected by that? I will, so are they going to not go watch him play? No, they're still going to show up. Yeah, but you in know, fact, they may even bring their gun. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's what the NBA doesn't want. That's what the NBA does. <laughs> I, I, let me ask you a question. Do you uh, have a gun? Absolutely. Why? A Glock. Okay, why? Right next to my bed. Why? Huh? Why? Because he's a fucking gangster. <laughs> no, why? Yeah. Because I hope someone tries to break in my house one day. <laughs> Perfect. How many times have you flashed your gun on Instagram Live? None. Why? Huh? Because it's not my thing. Do you think it's a common behavior to be flashing guns? Uh, is it a common behavior? I would probably, I would hope not. Uh, do, <laughs> That's the only do gun I, they <laughs> let him carry now. Yeah, hey, I hey. want my gun back. Hey, if Ja here. gets a gun, Josh gets a gun. <laughs> hey, I don't think, so we can't criticize people that the way they want to present themselves. That's his freedom of choice. Listen, we got. Uh, listen, we just did this whole thing about the girl not being wanting to be identified as a male or female. That's her choice. I'm I'm down with it. She wants to be that or be whatever or be they or them. I identify as a gang member. <laughs> I don't. I, I don't. I, I think it's crazy how how that's. Be, I don't know. I. It's, I'm indifferent about it now. Nah, man. It's I'm indifferent about I, it. What's wrong with it? It's just who do he hurt? The NBA. How? How do you, is it, you're, you're representing the NBA? If I if you know what they can if they could show me if they could show me like Ja flashed a gun, he's still on the team, and attendance went down ten percent the following week, I would be like, oh, okay, they're on to something. What so, about? Until then, I'm like, mm, I pee. Josh fights a gun. I'm still going to the game. What about you being from where you're from? Right. 
And little kids, when little AD was a little kid out there running around in the streets, and he looked up to Michael Jordan, and Michael Jordan was flashing a gun around, you don't think AD's going to then pick up a gun in that very same neighborhood and be in a lot more trouble than Michael Jordan was because he's not living that actual lifestyle. And what about those kids he's influencing coming up playing basketball and Listen, now they want to be gangsters instead I, of basketball the players? The one thing I loved about Charles Barkley back in the day, he said, I'm not a role model. Stop looking to, for me. Don't look to me for that. And that may be the same case for John. Yeah, but that was about like a fucking role that model. was about his but eating let's habits. Quote, and if we're gonna quote Charles Barkley. <laughs> another thing he said is the media people defending Ja are a bunch of dummies. He also Wait said that he's he's changed his view since then about the way he wants to be perceived and things like that. But to me, that's his personal choice because that's the way he sees it. Ja may see himself in a different light, and I think that's okay for Ja. He's in a place where it's open carry, and you don't need a permit, you don't need shit. You can have a gun. Waving a gun on the video in Memphis is not technically something you can't do. Does so why he have is the NBA an being open penalizer? carry license? Because just because it's open carry doesn't mean you don't have to have a license. And I'm pretty sure, well, open carry, you can no, have no, a No, no, no. I think gun, in Memphis, but... you don't need a permit. You don't need shit. You can just buy a gun. No, fuck no. Okay, That's so, not how it works. And first question. Over or under 0.5 is the point that Ja releases a mixtape in the next year. Under. Uh, yeah, I don't think. I don't think. I don't think, I don't think waving a gun has to do with being able to rap or But he, music. He, he looks like he wants to be a rapper. He doesn't seem like he wants to play. Why, all rappers but, are gangbangers? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is that what you mean? Yeah, no, I but I, I you mean all that. rappers, rappers are gang members. Like, I know you guys are still stuck in the 90s and you're still Tupac, but M like the biggest rappers nowadays, NBA Youngboy, one of them, it's all about flashing guns, showing that you're a menace to society more than before. So flashing First of all, the gun why'd you bring up Tupac? Because he's the biggest thug of all time. Yeah, yeah. and he's why, gone down the hill. Why flashing the gun means you're a menace to society? Do you, you see how your association with one thing is being affected by another? Sometimes you ask weird questions. You know what that, you know, you know. What are you talking no, about? I just flashing to, a gun and being like. I don't think a flash in the gun means you're a minister to society. I think you're a minister yeah. to society. You out here raping bitches. You out here people. robbing motherfuckers. You're out here holding people at gunpoint. He's not doing any of these things. That person. You don't know that. Huh? You don't know that. He wants to do those things. <laughs> He wants to rape everyone and rob them all. Oh, Are you talking God. about me raping? No, no, no. No, 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 no. But I definitely believe you want to rape everyone <laughs> as well. <laughs> I'll definitely throw you in that. But I ditto. I'll, 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 ditto. <laughs> I'll say this. You know, the um, the lawyer that got arrested in Missouri with, the, with in the family that was waving the guns at the protesters? That's to me a menace of society, too. Like, I see it both ways. We should do something about the guns. That's what I feel. We should definitely do something about the guns. I believe in that as well. Is, wait a minute. How can you feel? Didn't you just show I had up? a handgun, goddammit. <laughs> I believe That's everyone should. That's what John should, had. John had yeah, a handgun. Yeah, no, no. We're on a different. I'm not talking about John. I'm talking about the country in general now and being able to just buy, like, semi-automatic weapons and go blast these fucking schools and, like, all this stupid shit. Like, it's crazy. We're the only civilized place in the fucking world that has this problem. The only one. No other country has this problem. And we're the only ones that sit here and talk about, we need our guns. We need The Second Amendment was written Josh, right we, after we got out Josh, of the fucking war. This is what I want to know. When you were standing outside that guy's house with your gun in the trunk fully loaded, did you it was need in your the glove box? <laughs> did you need your gun then? No. And what about the text threatening his life? No, I didn't need it. <laughs> <laughs> it cost me a lot of money. I did not need it. I can whoop his silly ass with my bare claws. Yet you showed up with a gun. Because it was always in my car. <laughs> I didn't use it. It was just there for traffic purposes. I'm trying to get through fucking traffic in L.A. <laughs> Move, <laughs> over. Move over. Move <laughs> over. Let me in. <laughs> his time in prison changed his life. You know, he yeah. used to see things one way. Now Five hours. <laughs> my one day. Oh, you had a full 24 hours? No, but it was more than five, I think. I don't remember. PTSD. Were you in what? 
one room. Oh, no, you was in Beverly Hills. Never mind. Hey, man. You was in the Beverly Hills jail. You said you guys all ate dinner together. I tried. <laughs> tried to set up a meeting with the like, mayor. Hey, hey fellas, prison. <laughs> dinner's on me tonight. <laughs> He named names, you know, when he was there. I know, a, I know a couple. For people. real, though, you don't think nothing needs to be done about the gun laws in this country. You think it's fine? Like, hey, we got the Second Amendment. People can buy whatever they want. Throw a grenade at my house, no problem. I think what you're saying, there's definitely something that needs to be happened with the gun laws, for sure. For me, the 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 stuff that's going on in these schools is absolutely ridiculous. Peanut being able to get to these assault rifles and these these automatic guns ridiculous but and now we got that these out of control deter- transgenders no. shooting up schools that was just one example <laughs> there were a lot of examples of people <laughs> shooting up places uh, but but my whole thing is that nothing's being done so therefore ja hasn't broken the law so therefore he shouldn't be penalized now when they when they when someone he's actually- lucky david stern is dead because if not he would have been suspended for a year no i think the nba is in a tough situation because Waving a gun is really honest. There's nothing wrong with it. Now, hitting people, raping people, all that kind of stuff. There's something wrong with that. There's there's a, there's there's a criminal charge attached to that. Waving a gun in a state that's open carry and you don't need a permit, then there's nothing wrong. I think the NBA is in a tough, tough situation with that with that kind of thing. So what would you do? Yeah, yeah but here's like, the other side let, of let's that. Let's say you're the commissioner. You have to make a decision right now. Here's, right now. So Hold now. on. Here's the other side of the coin, though. Okay. It's just, we just look at it like he's in some league. That's the people who pay him. That's who employs him. So those employers, like you said, can do whatever the fuck they want. They can choose, but I think if they don't want that to represent their organization, listen, even though they attempt, they can attempt to do that. And I don't, I don't know the NBA contracts and what's in those contracts. So, so now I'm just speaking blindly about certain things, but the players union is going to have to step up for him because of the fact that they're going to be like, he didn't break a law. Okay. I ask again, you're the well, commissioner. So, you know, if I'm the commissioner, what I would do is call him in and I was like, do me a favor. The video and the guns. I don't care if you carry it. You're in a state that you can carry guns. You don't need a permit. I'm good with that. But but, but can we not do the videos? Help me out. Yeah, but you already set a precedent. He's already suspended for the first one. So you're just going to slap him on the wrist for the second one? That doesn't make any no, sense. No, I don't think he should have got suspended for the first one. But they are going to go after him for the second one. And let's see what they do. Have you seen the videos of him? How he drinks tequila out of a bottle? Why? Is it no. gay? No, he's just like, he drinks it like it's water. He's just like, and drinks it like nothing, like basically water. So what does that mean? I'm just saying he's just putting himself in I don't very... Care. I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't hear what he does in his off time is he comes to, still comes to the court yeah. and fucking now if bangs he's, on motherfuckers. Now, now if he comes to the, if he's at the game and he's drunk, then we know he has an alcohol problem. Other than that, I mean... But let's be honest. Just I'm, because you've seen someone do something once, twice, three times, doesn't that necessarily mean that that's their lifestyle? First of all, you can't ju- just chug tequila if you've done it once or twice, okay? That's Why? not how it works. Maybe he smoked crack earlier that day. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, also, let's not get out of our minds here. I'm pretty sure Dennis Rodman was drunk or high for all those games. Yeah, but, sure. <laughs> but Dennis Rodman wasn't the number one option either. He doesn't have a signature shoe either. Yeah, but again, this is the thing. John Morant will get his consequences by not getting a contract, by not be, be being able to maintain that number one spot. If he's doing shit that he shouldn't do, if he still comes out and scores fucking 30 points a game and dunks on everybody and does what he's supposed to do, then he'll maintain. But again, teams aren't going to keep touching him or giving him those contracts if he keeps doing this shit. Owners aren't going to put their neck on the line for him for what? There's plenty of players coming up. Would, but he didn't hurt anybody. It's not the point. It's what the the owners and the organization want to represent them. I would you know what I would be interested in seeing? Like his his jersey sales. Like did his sales go up for the gun charge? Or did it go down or did it stay even? I would be curious to, to know that situation. Like what really, really happened? Did he become more popular because of it? In we his- already know there's there's this such thing as that. There's no bad publicity. Yes, but where is huh? he more popular? Where are those jersey sales happening? Who cares as long as they're happening? <laughs> I wouldn't care. Where, so, where more, they... so more gang banging as long as the jersey so, sales are up. 
is See, good. but what, gang, problem what with, gang banging is going on? He's throwing up crip signs after he hits threes on the court. What are you talking about? I don't know those signs, so therefore I can't really confirm or, 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 <laughs> we already or deny. Had it, we already had it confirmed by a rolling 60s on that video. Uh, how do we know he's official? How about his accent? He sound like he from over there. Okay, how about Little Wayne? His have you seen what Little Wayne said about Josh situation? Uh uh-uh. uh, what would he say? He's not a crook. He's not a criminal. I don't know. You know what? He's a good basketball player. He shouldn't. He should stop pretending to be a gangster. That is my problem with it. Why are you? Why Wait are you minute, going Lil backwards? Wayne, was Little Wayne a real blood? <laughs> Little Wayne has been rapping since he was fourteen. So he was. He's known for rapping, but. I, I don't know how Little Wayne can even comment on that because he was faced with the same similar situation. But he's a hey, rapper. You're, you're a rapper. So there's an association between there's, rapper and gang member? There's a Absolutely. difference between a rapper and don't a basketball be player. What? Don't be ridiculous. Yes, there yeah, is. And, and there's <laughs> there, there there's an association. There's a literal genre <laughs> so called Jay-Z, gangster so rap. So Jay-Z was a gangster? He was a Jay-Z? drug dealer. Drug huh? dealer. Definitely. Do you huh? want your basketball players to be drug dealers? Huh? So definitely just, a gangster. I'm pretty sure he's probably Jay Z was a he's gangster. Put in he some was work a drug on dealer. Somebody. He's probably done some shit to get to where he is. Wow. But he's God. not the gangster like you're thinking. He's like a like a gangster, you know. I don't know. You guys are making some huge jumps. No, we're not making. Here. No, you guys are making some no. real leaps here. What about gangster rap? Okay, just because you take the gangster uh-huh. off it doesn't make it. What rapper? Genre. So why do we think that he wants to be? A, he's considered a gangster Who's John rapper. Morant? Yeah, why? When I say, I'm uh, so, so the, the video, the music he listens to, to. So if you listen to a certain time of music, I'm not you trying to, to tell say me he's, you, he's a gangster rapper. I'm trying to are. say, why are you coming from a decent household? Never been in the hood in your fucking life. Went to a private school. Did all this shit. Got rich. Got to the NBA. Got to where you are. And now you want to play gangster? That's dumb. I don't know his lifestyle. Everyone knows. It's on the fucking internet. I don't know who he hung out with. Who he, There's plenty of people like in my neighborhood who went to like... I lived in the hood. And they went to like Palisades. <laughs> which... But... They got busted Palisades. I didn't. I went to Jefferson High School. But they got busted Palisades. It happens all the time. But they're from the hood. That's their environment. He is not. I don't know. <laughs> what. So, wait a minute. So, he lived in the suburbs his whole entire life? Apparently. I don't know. They did the whole eight mile thing on him, you know. Okay, I'll tell you this. <laughs> okay. So, right now, you're guys waving a gun means you're associated with... No, it's just gangster rap. If you're a, and you're a potential criminal, we're not saying that. We're okay. not saying that. What are you? What are we saying here? It's just he not a good waving. look. What it's, kind of music do you listen to? Like, hey, I listen to all types of music. Now, think about, think about this. Think about it from this perspective. Josh was Josh just got arrested. He was waving was a, a gun. Long time ago. He was throw. <laughs> he was threatening people with a gun. I was got not. arrested. Got got arrested. It's false all accusations. So are we saying, Josh? Is a criminal? Yes. Uh, okay. Of course a, we a, are. Am I saying? <laughs> am I gonna? Am I paying Josh two hundred million dollars? Every about, day we come in here, you guys act like I'm a fucking criminal. I'm scared of you a little bit. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> <laughs> but that's not the point. The point is, if they pay you two hundred million dollars to dribble a basketball, and they just want you, oh, don't just shut up and dribble, huh? No, no, I didn't say, say that. I didn't say that yet. Puerto Rico it was real close. Just shut real. Up and Huh? Real close. They Real pay close. you that amount of He's money. Flirting the line. <laughs> <laughs> if if the, the only thing they tell you is you can do whatever you want, just don't flash guns on Instagram Live. That's the only thing we don't want you to do. And you cannot do that. Yeah, you deserve to get suspended. Did they actually say that though? Say what? Did they say please don't <sighs> flash a gun on Instagram I don't know. Live? I'm with JJ Reddick <laughs> on this one. It might be a bad look, but he didn't break any laws. I'm going to buy a gun and start flashing it. Hey, flash that thing. <laughs> but see, in California, you can't really do that. Where Josh, they are. Clearly. Uh, well, Josh couldn't do it. We know, <laughs> we know Josh. And I'm a you white man, so watch yourself over there. <laughs> Why are you shooting at him? What the hell is going on? Sick of his shit. Oh, okay. Well, that's a whole other thing. 
All right. Listen. But yeah, so I don't know. I don't know. I don't think I don't think if he didn't break the law, what are we penalizing him for? He broke the company laws. I don't break the law he, when I There I don't are break, no laws in companies. Look, yes, There's there rules. Is. I don't break There's the rule. law when I don't clock in on time at my fucking job. But if I don't clock in on time so many times in a row, I'm not gonna be working at that job because that's their rule. It's the same thing. It doesn't have to be a law to get suspended. Like, can, shut his I ass can, up. You see hey, that? Hey, listen. You all I, see that? Listen, I can understand that. That makes that makes perfect sense. But I just struggle with him being penalized because he didn't really break a law. Now, the other situations that some of these athletes face where, you know, you see silly rape charges, assault, and all this other craziness that's going on, these people, weird shit people are doing, they should be definitely, because those are actual criminal things. Talking about rape charge, we haven't touched upon oh, this, Jesus, but remember what? the Buffalo Bills punter? He he got a... Oh, man, that shit is crazy. Because it turned out... He wasn't even there. He wasn't there. Wild. That's fucked up. Yeah. So should have known go on, go on and tell the story so the, so the audience understands the story. Well, there was a punter for Buffalo Bills who got right. accused of gang rape of a, I think, 17-year-old a girl. Right. And he wasn't even in the house, and he got released by Buffalo, and his name dragged through the mud for a year. And what are they going to do to the lady? I don't know, but she's not going to prison. Nothing. She should go to hell. Listen, That's he lost she his go. job. He was dying to, to be in the NFL his whole entire life, and it was snatched from under him. And he wasn't there. That's fucked up. Should have known better. <laughs> yeah, right. Should have known not to be there. <laughs> that shit is crazy. But but that's the whole thing. The, the people that's filing these fake charges. They should, should go to jail. They should go to jail. They yeah. should be faced with the same penalty as the as the as the person that's being persecuted for those penalties. Yeah. They they should face those same thing. Oh, but if it turns the, out it was a lie, thing, he was though. gonna get four years. Here's the four thing. Years. Here's the thing though is that she didn't like she lied on him, but like there was a rape. There was a rape by like people who are on his football team. It just ha happened to f that he wasn't there. So then, why did she point out him? He must have been flashing through dicks and just thought it was his. Was I blur, don't know. A blur of dicks. <laughs> I have no idea. <laughs> that shit is crazy to me. When I found out that he wasn't there, I was just like, oh, that's fucked up. Isn't he like, what is he, Mexican or Spanish or something? What is he, right? He's not white. I know you hear puncher, you think it's like some white no, guy. It's, no, I think so, it is a white guy. I, I, think I don't think so. I think it is a white guy. And it's crazy. Because his name is Matt Araiza. Yeah, he's definitely Spanish. Well, he played in San Diego, so... Spanish. <laughs> well, Trump wasn't wrong, you know? All Mexicans are rapists, huh? Jesus <laughs> Christ. <laughs> <laughs> hey, speaking of staying on basketball, uh, a while ago, a couple episodes ago, we had a real race debate about this guy over here to the left of me talking about how trash Joker was because he's white and no one believes in him. What's your Wait thoughts now? Okay, first... It wasn't because he was white. It's one of the big reasons. Possibly. <laughs> <laughs> hey, let me tell you something. I got a whole new respect for uh, the Joker, man. I've never seen anyone from the center position destroy another center mm. like he did Aiden. He took Aiden's heart away. He ate him a lot. He gave him 53. The games prior today gave him triple doubles. I've never seen anyone get their butt kicked. And he's just proven that you don't have to be super fast anymore to be effective in the NBA because he's a, the worst athlete in the world. Yeah, I mean, he's I think <laughs> Dirk Nowitzki definitely proved that point, but... Yeah, but Dirk Nowinski was never a star like this guy. This guy. Huh? This, nah, not nah, Dirk. Nah, nah. Dirk, Dirk Nowinski has one championship. One MVP. One, one, huh? one MVP. One MVP. So he's half the man of Joker. As, yeah. He has gone to two finals. Yeah, he wasn't he wasn't the same guy. This guy literally, he was. this guy does everything. He's got two triple doubles. I think in you're two underrating games. Dirk. You hear me? I'm not. Dirk you are Dirk, underrating Dirk. Dirk, Dirk but had a little, little two, step back, little jumper. Per personally, turn I, around. All time, I, I put Dirk ahead of KG, Kevin Garnett. 
Kevin Garnett never let his own team like Dirk did. We're sorry um, that he said that, Kevin. <laughs> <laughs> Kevin is great. He's great. One of the best players of all time. I just think Dirk Nowitzki is just a little bit better. Then, then, K, then K, KG played both sides of the ball. He only likes Dirk because he brought that stupid championship to that dumbass Puerto Rican. Little oh, last dude. Oh, oh. <laughs> That's Barea? the only thing he's got Barea? to live on over there. <laughs> Barea. Dirk helped my country. <laughs> But Joker's got two games against the Lakers, two triple doubles. Motherfuck, we should have won that game. Yeah, I know. Should have won both games. 24 points by I don't know about the in the first fourth game. quarter. The second, the second game, for sure, we should have won. Uh, no, but do you see the threes Murray was hitting? Fuck him. That shit was crazy. Fuck him. Did you ever see the video of him and his girlfriend? Who? And Murray when he was stuck in the bubble? Uh-uh, what happened? No, just like a nice, like a nice POV footage of you know him and his member and then you know the girlfriend with the his thingling in his mouth i never seen this ever you can talk like a normal fucking human <laughs> she was sucking his dick on she camera? was sucking his dick on camera i don't know why he said it like that <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck i'm Where gonna be respectful did you, did you see that I didn't see it. I don't I, go out I and never heard NBA players' yeah. dicks online, so I don't really... I never even heard of this. Yeah. That's why I'm here, <laughs> yeah, to make exactly. sure that <laughs> you're aware of any possible sex tapes out there. We, oh, wow. <laughs> yeah. Oh, so that's... Okay. Does he have the same girlfriend now? I think so. He got into a fight in the... In like a regular season game because a fan told her, I seen your girlfriend suck your dick. <laughs> and he was like coming at him. How you can be mad about that? I put it online. He put it online? It was a leak. I mean, it was an accident that he, he accidentally put it on his Instagram live. Yeah, okay. <laughs> in his Instagram, I mean, story. Like, you have to confirm that shit before it goes through. Instagram live is not just like, I'm going to grab Instagram, a photo out of your fucking thing. Like a story. Yeah, it happens. Same it happens thing. all the time. Yeah, it <laughs> happens. <laughs> you want to put is, your shit out there. <laughs> that is tough. Speaking of sex, Alejandro's got a chance for the future. Oh, new AI sex dolls are coming out. Elon, <laughs> Musk's, Elon Musk is in a warehouse making out with dolls hey, hey, all man. day long. They said he's like two months away from the final pro. Those photos are AI photos. I hope you're aware of Elon Musk making yeah, out. Yeah, yeah. Those are I AI. still think he's doing it. OK, wait a minute. So but can you and my question is, can you have sex with a doll one time and still remain a normal human being? Absolutely. What if that doll just puts it on you? Be <laughs> <laughs> like, I'm never going back. Be like this. I'm never this going back. This is crazy in there. <laughs> She's a machine. <laughs> yeah, for real. It's I like fucking a microwave. I don't know. It's a little better than fucking a microwave, probably. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know if... Uh, you got to keep, oh, wait, you gotta keep to, inserting so like they lube. Call it, they call it like the robot wife. So is yeah. she like cleaning up and stuff? She better be fucking That's going to be the bitch. upgrade. <laughs> lazy goddamn bitch better be doing something around the house. <laughs> Just get in an argument with your AI. All you do is lay around and wait for sex, bitch. <laughs> I'm telling you, that's that's going to be the end of humanity. There, I think, uh, I think, sta statistically, this, we're having less children than before. Listen, no, I think and, it's going to be the savior of all marriages. Nah, fuck oh, that. Oh, yeah. Because now you get to have a new bitch and your old bitch can't be mad because it's not even a real bitch. It's like, you no. don't want to have sex with me tonight? But All right, know, bitch, I'm going to bring the doll out. But I'm going to bring the doll out from the closet. I'm with Alejandro. I'm with Alejandro <laughs> because you see weird shit now. They're literally marrying these sex dolls now. That's been they're, happening, they're interact. I, I know I've been that. watching real sex since the 90s in my, in my oh, late had, night in my room. People have been marrying dolls since way back in the day, man. Oh, okay. I didn't know. Yeah. Uh, I'm unaware. I'm, un <laughs> I'm, uh, I'm unaware of the Nebraska culture. No, real sex <laughs> was not filmed in Nebraska. <laughs> nah. You know, in Nebraska, they only fuck animals. Come on. <laughs> yep, and cousins. So, but no, I think everything that's going on as far as like, you know, people are being more, you know, it seems like more people are going like are gay and they're, they're trans <laughs> and all these things. I think they're almost like, Eliminating women in, in some way, shape, or form. Yeah, at ladies, the, what the at least fuck, the value man? Y'all need to get them. it together with this. At least women the value support, of them. This women thing. This is not good for y'all. It's not good for y'all. Like, like they should be fight. Like, isn't it funny that they come out with the the robot wife first before they come out with the robot husband? You could just tell as a man in charge of this company. 
Robot husband will put us all out of business. <laughs> Be working all day. <laughs> Robot husband's got us it, fucking motherfucker last three hours out there with that bitch. You can interchange his dick. Oh, all types of options out damn. here. <laughs> interchange his dick. She's like, mm, I don't know if I want that tonight. <laughs> <laughs> and it technically doesn't count as a body. That's what I'm saying. See, right. Yeah, I guess. Like, she just got like three, three fucking dudes, three fucking <laughs> robot dudes just around her at all times. This is what I'm into. Close the door. <laughs> now, my question is, if your girlfriend or wife were to say, like, I want to spice things up and I want to bring one of those sex dolls in the bedroom, the male ones, not the female ones. No. Could you do it? No. With the... Like I'm Eiffel Tower in her I'm with not, a fucking I'm, robot. With a, with a robot, yeah. <laughs> but I'm not even. I'm not even going for it the other way. Like, why is there a sex doll here? What, what if you walked in on your gonna, significant? What, are, what if you walked in on her or or him, Alejandro? And, <laughs> <laughs> and you were just like, you walked in the door and just get just getting his fucking. They're just going to town. Her and a robot. Are you like? Are you angry? Do you join in? Do you leave? I'm Do you def- join in and then leave? I'm definitely leaving. <laughs> I'm not ready. <laughs> Which not one do you prefer? They uh, cheat on you with an actual human or they do some weird shit with an AI robot? Now bring on the human. Yeah? Old fashioned. <laughs> <laughs> then you can leave her. The yeah. robot, it's like... Like you cheated on me, it's yeah. over. The robot, you just... You, you gotta have a conversation like, about how weird you are and shit. Do I have to this motherfucker <laughs> at night? <laughs> The fucking dolls talking shit to you, like yeah, yeah. Wore that shit that. out. <laughs> Got that shit while you were home, sucker. It doesn't matter how much you work out, you're never gonna be faster yeah. and stronger than me. <laughs> <laughs> Just talking shit around the house. That's terrible. Oh uh, yeah, that's that's pretty awful. Man, well, shout out to the AIs bringing the home. But maybe, maybe, just maybe. This might bring the playing field back to the way it used to be, where only fellas who could actually talk to women in real life are out here talking to women in real life. Because I believe since these apps came out, I think I feel like there's a distance between real men, per se, and women since these apps came out. Because now you got all these fucking dorks that would never talk to nobody in real life, Brave just swiping, hell. going out on dates. And then women are like, what's wrong with these dudes? It's not us. It's the weirdos that were never out of the house. It's me, these I motherfuckers. It, I think it got bad when, with texting. Because no one even like communicates on the phone anymore. It's like, hey, what's up? What you doing? Show me some titties. <laughs> <laughs> Send me that pic. <laughs> <laughs> like, it's, it's like, it's, there is a disconnect right now yeah. between, like, you know, just humans in general. Just their interaction, I think, is, is definitely... Moving in the wrong direction. I'll tell I feel you like this, a lot of people uh, who, uh, when I went to college, I didn't have Instagram. And I kind of wish I went back to those days. You know, no Instagram, no, like, you know, you went down. Right. Like, what you see is what you get. Right. It's just, it's crazy now. It's so just, you went to an all-male college then? Oh, God. No. <laughs> what? It, Josh, what's the problem with homosexuality? <laughs> like, why? why we, uh, we've like, gone over this many times. No, no, please tell me it. <laughs> Like, wh- why does it offend you in any sense? Homosexuality, why does it offend me? Yeah, it does know. it scare it you? O- it doesn't offend me, per se, as much as it's forced upon everyone now. Forced upon? To just be out here loving. Has anybody taken their dick out in front of you and be like, hey, One Josh? Thing I will, Instagram, I will say, it's like, it's a lot of... Some of the interactions on Instagram, at least for me, like from gay guys, like, approaching me, I just, I don't know what's going on. You're getting approached by a lot of guys? It's, it's ever since I've had Instagram, they just be like, just keep coming. I was like, what about my Instagram is leading you down like, this path? DMs? All day. Oh. <laughs> All day long. Who would have known that you'd be a nice treat in the uh, homosexual community? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, really hey, listen, there. I block every single one of them. I'm not into it. I fucking hate Instagram. I cannot open that shit in public. Because the videos they be showing in my feed are just, you know, titties and a bunch of, you know. We've gone over this. The videos you receive is because of what you <laughs> watch, watch, Alejandro. I watch That's your that algorithm. That's your algorithm. <laughs> Alejandro, enjoy this. <laughs> 
<laughs> have you seen the videos of that guy, of that guy who is like uh, giving girls, you know, like dick shaped donuts and lollipops, and everybody's sharing them on, and he's just like force feeding them the fucking you know cock cookies. I, oh, that sounds awful. But no, I don't know. I is he seen a straight it. guy? No, yeah, he's a straight guy. So he makes the cookies and he's not like he's just in, with the cookies, and then he's just like with. Like imagine like a like a donut but shaped like a cock. And right. Like they he adds whipped cream and they're like the ladies oh, are like Woo! crazy. Yo. Yeah. It's like a bachelorette party or just yeah, some something regular like that. shit. Yeah. No, like it looks like a bachelorette party, feel like but women it, it, are worse it, like, than men. Men like men aren't gonna go for that. Like if it was some some jelly donuts just... shaped like <laughs> titties. some titties, they like they're yeah. not gonna the certain things they're not gonna do on camera. They'd be like, yeah, I'm a I'm going to refrain from this. Kind of similar to the way Alejandro avoided that titty right in his face with, uh, for two podcasts ago. He was like, eh, maybe when they turn off the lights in this motherfucker, but not now. And I love titties. <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> Someone who loves titties with a titty in their face is going to lick that titty. I don't know, man. I don't want to <laughs> lick a titty that's been licked by 200 uh, men, Alejandro. 300 men. It's way more than that. Alejandro, listen. It's way more than that. She was. I'm she pretty was, sure she probably washed her titty before she came in there. I don't think the residue stays. <laughs> I know uh, you wanted to listen, suck that titty. You listen, know, and Alejandro, yeah. that was the smartest move you ever made. It ain't no way in hell Josh would have <laughs> wrapped his lips around that goddamn titty. There's no way in hell. I even am if a pri- man. <laughs> even if you were single, you would be like, I'm good on that titty. That's, that titty's been around for a while. Would you take a blowjob from her? No. Okay. Does that that's it? worse. Let me that is, there is residue in that. I'm just so glad. <laughs> I'm just so glad he said no. <laughs> <laughs> the podcast would have been over. Yeah. Well, his um, wife would have been standing on top of this table. <laughs> Seriously. Oh, uh, fuck. <laughs> Speaking of that type of stuff, though, let's get uh, into this next topic. I think I sent it to both you guys. There's a conjured twin out there. Oh. Sharing one uh, vagina uh. and one boyfriend, just one bitch hanging off the side. <laughs> <laughs> D- does that count as a threesome? Does that count as a threesome? They are joined. Uh, no, I think a threesome you gotta have two pussies. They there. are joined at the vagina or the hips or whatever it is, but they share one fucking pussy. So wait a minute. And this the one boyfriend, he was smiling so hard in that picture, just like. Arm around the one girl, the other girl's just hanging off to the side, just That's a tough one. just smacking up the one conjured twin. Does the other one put a blanket over her? Like, do you got to cover the other one, or I does she, is she like read the, the book? I don't know too much about. She got to reach Siamese around. Twins? Are, Here, are hold on, look at the photo. Yeah, you got to show the photo. <laughs> okay. But I just wondered, like, do they both feel? Definitely. Definitely. That's a good question, too. I don't know. She's over there trying to read and just like, ah, Why do you think God they both damn it. feel? I just have, uh, to me, going back with like Simon's twins, do you think you can do a threesome with like two twins? I'm not. I'm, what do you I'm, mean? I'm not in. Like, imagine just like regular you're, you're, twins? You're, you're, yeah, regular twins. Do you think you can do a threesome? Because it's technically incest. First of all, who cares? So, so yes for you. Yeah. And no for you. I don't care about their Wait morals. Minute. Huh? Two twins? That's crazy. Two twins, you know, Siamese. Unfortunately, are I, they like, I, I've been in that situation. Are they eating each other's pussy Oh, you've pussy been in that situation. Shit? Please share with us the situation. I don't really want to go into detail. Too late. I will say, when I seen, I left the club one night with these two girls from Paris, and... French whores. They... <laughs> We were all hanging out at my house and we started to get into it. And the one girl started eating her sister out, and I was horrified. Is this? I was, this? But I, I was horrified. I was just like, I, I don't, I didn't know, huh? Did you continue? Being the man that I am. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I thought you just packed up your bags and left. <laughs> Fuck no. <laughs> <laughs> That's disgusting. As he's putting his mask down. You guys are you guys, sick. You, you guys know? are sick. <laughs> oh uh, man, that shit was horrible. You though. had to like pull him apart, like a couple dogs fighting. <laughs> hey, bitch. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> to your corners. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. That oh, shit was crazy. Wow. So the answer for AD is a astonishing <laughs> yes, he would. <laughs> I was horrified. But his penis wasn't. Yeah, it wasn't. I was horrified. <laughs> his mind was in another place. I'm starting to think place. that there, there might be some things that you said, like, oh, you wouldn't do, that you might do. Nah. Like the, the, tw- the twins, you already said no, but you did it. Twin, what? I was, I was definitely, it shook, it shook me up. <laughs> But I recovered. <laughs> yeah, quick. <laughs> recovered quick. I was like, oh, that's different. Hold on. <laughs> oh, fuck it. <laughs> it's too late now. I'm in too uh, deep. It, was, it, it happened at the moment or afterwards you were just like, wait a second. Now, <laughs> incest? Right when it happened, I was, sit- I was sitting there like, how long y'all been doing this? <laughs> <laughs> Are you butt naked staring outside the window like, oh, my God, all the choices I've made in my life. <laughs> it was crazy. Oh, my God. That's hilarious. You know what's scary? Like, when you do go home, when you meet someone like that, and that hasn't happened to me very often. <laughs> let, me just, let me just add that. But with, 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 I always feel like they're there to rob me. I swear to God, like immediately when I go in the house, I lock all my keys. I lock everything up in the, the safe, everything, every, anything of value goes in the safe immediately. I'm like, yeah, I, I was like, yeah, I like myself, but I don't know if I would just leave with a club with myself just instantly. I was like, yeah, I don't know. I see what you mean. Like, like obviously I have no, like, you know, nowhere near your value. However, yeah. I do have some expensive cameras in my apartment. There you go. So yeah, I do think about that house. when, you know, maybe I go to a sleazy cantina to there meet you some go. sleazy women. And I'm like, do I really want to take this girl home and risk losing thousands of dollars of She's equipment? Still, it's so funny because I used to actually date a girl. We used to call her like the black widow. She used to, she used to go to clubs, go to clubs, meet guys. The guys would take her home, and then she would call her homeboys to come and rob him. She would leave the door open, leave, yeah. give, send them the address, That's a classic leave, the door, leave the door open, leave the screen door open, and they would come in and rob her. And she used to do that shit all the time. They and said I that's to- how Pop Smoke got it. He got it with, like, sleeping with a... Like, he, I think Pop Smoke was shot. No, I thought it was something... I thought... He, it was, like, 4 a.m. He was with a girl. The girl no, was proven innocent, but the girl no, was there. No, no, no. With, with Pop Smoke, actually, what happened is that when he... He had a package, and he flashed the package, and they had their address on it, and that's how they found out where he was, and then they went to go see him, and that's how he got caught up. You saw that um, his murderer is only going to get, like, seven years? Because he was a minor when he did the crime. And that's the same shit that's going to happen with extentacion too. Like the murderer, because he was underage, he's only going to serve like seven years. Good that's choice. Murder somebody when you're young, I guess. Uh, all that is just, I just don't understand when people try to take something like that. Like trying to take what he, he what he's earned. That is just so wild to me. They haven't earned it. They don't know anything about it, but yet they feel like they could just take it from him. Speaking of taking things from people that was earned, you hear that the Democrats now want $14 trillion in reparations? They're demanding. Wait a minute. $14 trillion in reparations. For who? Well, not white people. <laughs> I just became a, a, a Democrat. I'm all I'm all for it. Where is it? Here you go. There you I, go. You don't have to do that to become a Democrat. Oh, okay. I didn't. I didn't. I, you didn't. Get a letter hey, I don't know the rules. I don't know the, the, I don't know the rules. The only rules is you have to wear a dress. Wait a minute. So they're going. So they're saying. Oh, that sounds terrible. <laughs> um. So you, you, you have to. They're saying that they, they want reparations for black people. Yeah, they're demanding God, fourteen fuck. trillion. Good. Yo, AD, if, if they fuck me over, you got me. I got you. Listen, let me tell you something. I'm definitely gonna be able to pay off this house this year. You don't get <laughs> you don't get the whole fourteen trillion. What do you, mean you, don't? <laughs> you don't get all the money. You get a portion. Yeah, thank God. I need that shit. I want listen, I need that. That would stimulate. If there's the one economy. person in the world that doesn't need it, it's you. You don't need it. You want it, but you don't I would need love it. it. I would love so it. So that's my other question is who 
Who gets does like Jay Z get the one point five million? Fuck yeah, he should get his money. <laughs> and, absolutely, they, everybody, everybody that should be deserving of. If you're black, you should get paid. What about period. Puerto Ricans? They should get paid. I'm all for everyone. What getting about paid. if I got a a white? Josh fam- should not get a dime. What if I got a white <laughs> family member who was like really in the fight and lost his life back in the day, sticking up for a black dude? We appreciate you. No money. <laughs> <laughs> what about I, Native Americans? Yeah. I, I, wait a minute. They're what like, about Native Americans? Okay, so Native Americans, from what I understand, I think they already got don't. their reparations, right? What, casinos they, and, and fucking, land? Yeah. They, got, they already they got, got their, their land. They already got their form of reparations. They were forced onto a small piece of land. That's better than what they're giving <laughs> me. I don't, I, don't, I don't know, but aren't they? No, but as an Indian... No, not an Indian. What do you say? Thank you, Native American. Native American. <laughs> Josh has improved so many different things about me. That's true. But listen. Mostly hey, but listen, his racism. Native, Native, <laughs> Native Americans, from what I understand, because I know a couple of Native Americans, they get money for the rest of their lives. They actually get money for the rest of their life. If you're part of a tribe, then you actually get money forever. And then if that person marries someone, now they get it. It's what crazy. What kind of money are we talking? Because it, it, listen, cause like why, instead just, of your one point five million dollar check, let me cut you a three hundred dollar check a month. How about that? If, no, they're not getting three hundred. It's for the rest of their lives. That's better than nothing, you know. No, I think, it, but I think it's more See, between. This is the problem. Everybody wants for themselves, but then like, hey, the Native Americans got enough. They got forced out of I'm their not own saying country. That they, I'm not saying that slaughtered. they got enough. I'm saying I got zero. That's what I'm saying, and I. And you, I, nothing happened to you. <laughs> Childhood trauma. That's uh, JC is rich, but he, no matter how much money he makes or how much money AD makes, it's not going to clear that childhood trauma. Thank you. That he had to go listen, through. Alejandro is a genius. What? Ch- the childhood trauma from 1816? No. What, 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 he, no what he's talking about walking around and being black and being persecuted and racism and things like this that we had to efface. Josh, you that think you I don't know how face. it feels? You did not face anything. <laughs> <laughs> I was the black man in my town. <laughs> now of, that I believe. Of 200 people. You know what? I was treated like the black Certain man. Certain people should get money. Give Josh a couple hundred thousand. <laughs> Yeah, but listen, I've changed my tune on reparations because I realize I only have black friends and now I sell real estate. So get y'all's money. <laughs> get y'all money. I'll get mine in commission, baby. Let's go. <laughs> I think I, I think it's only right. We have about time. When, so yeah, but is- you also believe in like, fuck people who lose and like, we already had this conversation a hundred times. Like, it's it's not my fault. My is, ancestors is reparations uh, like a participation award? I don't know what you mean by that. It is a it is a participation trophy. No, it's not a Absolutely. participation trophy. For the losers. Oh, that's it. <laughs> Listen. <laughs> I don't know how I feel about <laughs> I'll just take the money. <laughs> Bring on the funds. Oh, we were persecuted. Here's my other thing: is we why built are this we not country. taking it from the Arabs? They got all the money. They they throw out Lamborghinis and lakes and make boats out of them. They I don't. I, throw I, Lamborghinis I think to like it's port. about it's about what happened here. It's about what happened here. Would have never now, happened over, if they didn't start over it. there. Over there, then I'm sure there could be a different situation. But here in America, we know who did it, Josh. Who the British? Huh? No. Yeah, it was the Your British. people did it. For how many years did America have slavery? <laughs> I think, was it? 400? 400 years. Wrong! America was a country in 1776. Before that, it was owned by the oh. British. Okay. Listen, everyone... Aren't, aren't your ancestors from yeah, Britain? Aren't, aren't, you, aren't they from Wales? Wales, yes. <laughs> so it was you. I mean, maybe. But <laughs> my point is, is that the British should come up with some of this trillions. Okay. The I'm, Arabs should come up with a lot of these trillions. I don't really care where it comes from. Yeah, well, I'm just saying. So, wait a minute. When did this be part of the... So huh? Should Israel chip in too? No, Israel never has to chip in. They're prosecuted people. <laughs> <laughs>
Have you ever heard of, you know, the Holocaust? Oh, they've God. chipped in. A, they've oh. chipped in enough. They've okay, chipped in a yeah. lot of lives. So did the gypsies. Nobody talks about the gypsies. Because no one gives a fuck. Oh, God. Gypsies? They're coming. Yeah, the gi- eh, a lot of gypsies and homosexual men were killed during the Holocaust, too. Well. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't, I don't know anything about that. Look. Reparations, fine. Just buy houses. So, women, just buy so houses this is me. part of their whole agenda? Democrat, I don't know. I just saw some I'm going to tell you something. Democrats don't do shit. That's They're true. just the headline party. We want to do this. We want to do that. And nothing gets done. Just like I, I, I totally Biden agree. saying that our student loans are going to get forgiven. And they haven't. Wait a minute. All of them? They're only forgiven like people with disability. Fuck those people. Disability. <laughs> oh, I got a disability. What, what should they do with student loans? Hey, you you took them out. Pay for it. I think you should pay for it. I pay for mine. Thank you guys. Pay for my student loans. You should pay for it. Look, you took it out and you benefited from student loans. What if you didn't benefit? Okay, just because <laughs> you didn't finish. <laughs> Because you didn't finish. That's not the student loan fault. Isn't it? No, no, no. You chose to, you know, not go to class and, and go all, to the bar. I'm three classes away, and I've never been a bar guy. Not uh, a drinker like that. Yo, man, finish it. Go to... I am. I'm going back in the fall, you sorry sons of bitches. Is, okay. is Chanel going to be your... Are you going to take out your... school loan? Yeah, who knows? <laughs> is Chanel going to be one of your classmates? Ooh, now that's an interesting concept. Didn't man. you go to the same school? <laughs> same business school? <laughs> Came are, out we, of, are we still on camera? I don't know what, what the fuck came, are we doing it, here. It came out of nowhere. What? What does that have to do with anything? Oh, I'm sorry. Chanel I, seems to be a, a, a touchy subject for you. Because I'm pretty sure that the studio doesn't like us having her as a guest on <laughs> <laughs> That I work for. Who's the there studio? There's some weird, Who's I don't know, the there's stu- some weird messaging going on about the podcast. I don't know. Oh, oh. you're talking about, oh, you're talking about uh, Bunda. Yeah. Yeah, wait a minute. It's some weird messaging. Is that why he hasn't responded to (laughs) me? Wait wait a minute. What? I don't know. Bunda, Bunda, like the gym. Yeah, the gym. Message to like our manager or something about like I don't know something being harmless, but I'm not really sure how it was portrayed in the text message. So I'm not sure if they approve of me taking their (laughs) front desk people onto the podcast. Oh. I'll tell you one thing about <laughs> I'll tell you one thing about heaven. Did anybody see that comment? Oh, uh, you know Paul Pratt, my friend. Yeah, yeah, yeah. With the water, <laughs> he he said something on there like trashing her, and she came on like, I bet you don't remember you were my track track coach in middle school. <laughs> <laughs> he was a track coach, and he was like, and then he called me, and he's like, oh, you know that girl? I commented on the thing, and she was like. I bet you don't remember I was your track coach. I was like, oh, shit, that is heaven. <laughs> <laughs> that shit is uh, But I'll, all fair warnings, though, I'm not going to lie. Heaven, sorry for putting you out like this. But uh, Pratt said he got a fair warning from faculty members to not be alone with heaven because she might try to make a move. For mm-hmm. real? And she was a middle schooler, and Paul was probably like 20-something. Hmm. <laughs> Damn, heaven! Heaven was trying to take down, take down the big wigs at the school. Yeah, apparently, at, uh, he had to have her calm down at a track meet. Stop being such a floozy out there. So, so, hey, what about what do you think about this theory of mine? But that's that, just what I heard, Devin. I'm not saying it's true <laughs> or false. I'm just saying that's what I heard. Straight women that go through a whole face and they are filled with shame, then. They become bi- non-binary, non-binary <laughs> and become more accepted for in a community that is more sexually liberated. What do you think about that? Here's my other question. Why is that community so sexually liberated? It's like once you become gay, you're just like a fucking whore now. I don't and like you just out like There's ah! gay people with principles and where and, and morals. <laughs> and they're not fucking. My just uncle out has a lot of principle. Oh, yeah. My uncle. Is He's gay. got down with a lot of principles. Maybe. I don't know. <laughs> Your uncle's gay? Yeah. Okay. Ooh, see. How does how does how does your dad feel about that? 
I think my dad is okay about it. They have an okay relationship, you know. Okay relationship. Like they see, like a good relationship. I'm not saying that they're. You he know, never babysit you as a kid, right? No. Okay, that's what I'm talking about. Your dad <laughs> loves you. <laughs> that's 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 some that's fucked up. <laughs> that's the show. <laughs> that is the show. I'm just playing. All no, good, no, yeah. all good fun. Hey. That's the way I see it. I don't understand people. You, the, life shouldn't be taken so seriously. Uh, it's all jokes. It seriously. We're it's just trying to make each this other This is a laugh. serious podcast, you motherfuckers. So bring the comments, okay? I'm serious Where about everything I say. Listen, Life's you were not just a joke. running away from a conversation two minutes ago. So should I cut it or should I not <laughs> cut it? Y'all some fucking idiots. <laughs> why, do, why, am I the, why am I the one that always gets this banter from the people? Okay? Hey, man, I get the gay banter. You get the cheating on my wife banter. You what know, it, it's just what it is. <laughs> what the fuck? Damn. Damn, that, damn was, that, was a, that was a low blow. But you never do it. You're a good man. Yeah, I've Josh fucking, is a good guy. I have been known to he, have a bad streak one time. <laughs> and I put he, those days behind me. <laughs> He found Jesus Christ. <laughs> I've learned. Yeah. I can't find Jesus Christ in my house. My wife is Jewish. <laughs> yeah. Can you she, imagine I'm just like a closet uh, Christian? I just go to church and shit. I'm like, nah, I'm going to ADs to play video games. I'm like praying in a church and shit. Well, their people did kill Jesus. Her people? That was the Romans, you dumb shit. Yeah, but they blamed the Jewish people for killing Christ, no? Who? No. The no? Romans killed. Fucking okay. whatever his name is. Was the the guy who made a Passion of the Christ? Yes, Mel Gibson. Mel Gibson. He said the Jews killed Christ. How? Well, I don't he's know. not very fond because of the Judas community. <laughs> because <laughs> Judas <laughs> Or the black community. Or any other community for that matter. Because Judas turned him in, how? I don't know. I'm just saying what he said. The Romans are the one that put him to death. So I'm technically no. Catholics, Listen. maybe. <laughs> Who went to church? Did you go to church as a kid? A couple times. Have you gotten, did you get baptized? Me? No. Yeah. No. I was no. baptized. baptized. You were baptized? You were in. You, baptized, yeah. They put you in water and the whole thing? No, they baptized you know, the, the kid the, the, the with like a fucking drip. So what are you know. talking about? They don't. I thought you Southern actually Baptist. go to a pond. <laughs> they fucking throw you in a like, lake when you're an infant. They dip you and then you come out. Yeah, that's hey. later in life if you choose to become like a Southern Baptist. What about First Communion, Josh? Mm -mm. No, I don't know. I know nothing about It's not that I religion. stopped or started. I never, it's not. I, I don't really have, I don't really have a religion. In Nebraska, right it's sort of just like a thing. To get baptized? Yeah, you just baptize your kid. You got a kid, now you got a baptism. <laughs> I'm actually concerned for you, AD. I think you should get baptized. You Why? What, what is? How, how do you? What, what happens? Way. What are the benefits of being baptized? You, know? you get to go to heaven. Yeah. Just in so, case. So we're implying that the people who get baptized are right. Yeah. Because no. there's a billion other religions out there. No, we're and, just saying that oh. that's what it says in oh, that yeah. one book. So have you been <laughs> baptized, Josh? Yeah. I'm oh, covered, really? baby. I told yeah, you I love yeah. all religions. They dipped you in water, or no? God damn it! They did the little. <laughs> it's just a drop. They drops. did the drop. When you're a kid, yes, you go. You have a baptism. Is that you is get? That, a, you get godparents. Are like, you that's the whole Catholic? Thing. Not is, anymore. No, it's all churches do that shit. I think because I was Methodist. Oh. oh wow! I have no, look. I have no idea. You don't want to be wrong in this debate. Just that's yeah, true. just put some toilet water on top of you. You're baptized. <laughs> I'll bring you back some water from Israel. Hey, that's what I need. In the lake that Jesus walked on. That's what I need. Same lake Jesus was baptized in. I'll use that water. I want the water. Did I ever tell you guys a story about this? How I tried to make money off of that water before? No, let's hear it. <laughs> I thought I was going to be rich. <laughs> <laughs> I'm importing water from... Look, so there's this place called... It's like translated to the town of Jesus. Apparently it's... Um, Fucking Paul's, where Paul has his house or whatever. Fucking, like, they got the, the ruins. <laughs> One of the disciples. Okay, I don't know what we do. Okay, So go they on. got his you house. You what he was talking about? Paul, yeah, the disciples. They got his ruins over there, right? I'm behind. They got his ruins, and they got a big church built over it. You can look down into the house where Jesus actually sat and, like, spoke to his disciples and shit like that. Just a few blocks away is where he turned the fish into shit and all that kind of stuff. But it's this big-ass lake. It's the lake that he walked on. It's the lake he was baptized in. 
Israel just uses it as like a summer lake that everyone swims in boats in and shit. <laughs> It's not anything to them, really. But there's these little spots all over around it where Jesus did this, Jesus did that, blah, blah, blah. So I had this water bottle on me. You're not really supposed to walk around where I was walking around, but I went down to the shores of Peter's home. It was Peter. Not Paul, my bad. Peter's home. Went down to the shores, filled up this fucking water bottle, got it on camera and everything, showed Peter's house, the ruins, all that. Brought it back home, bought a bunch of little vials off of fucking Amazon. Mm -hmm. Was filling up the vials with water. And then I was going to try to sell them on, like, Etsy or something, you know, like Jesus water. Like, this, the water Jesus was baptized okay. in. Not one fucking sale. <laughs> Not one. <laughs> I came back like, I'm about to fucking murder this game out here. I had a fucking two-liter bottle of Jesus water. I could have filled up fucking a thousand of those little vials. That's hilarious. Nothing. Absolutely fucking Nothing. That's immoral, man. Why? You're, you're trying Is to it worse than what the church does? Same thing. So you want to be like them? Ooh. Yeah, I want to be rich like the church, absolutely. Okay. Church rich as fuck. The little boys thing, no, not into. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's a rite of passage. passage. You have to do it. <laughs> you rape a little boy? No, I'm not Catholic. But uh, how do you feel, Alejandro? Why are you so jumpy? Huh? You, Guns make like you, you fucking nervous? How do you feel about the racism happening to Puerto Ricans? Man, so I don't know if you heard, there was a, this couple traveling. So his voice got Airlines. lower, he's like real serious now because it's about Puerto Ricans. It's about Puerto Ricans. Like, man, yeah. we're the most serious. subject for him. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and they were flying Spirit Airlines and they had their- Spirit? Spirit. First mistake. <laughs> Definitely first mistake. <laughs> It's just not an option. They had their real ID with them because you can fly in the United States. Right, with your real, real ID. ID. That makes sense. But they were saying, oh, where's your passport? You know, so they they didn't let them on board. They had to go to JetBlue. They let them fly with JetBlue. And now Spirit Airlines is, you know, paying for their flight and the troubles. But it's just one of the many things that Puerto Ricans get, you know. Are we citizens? Are we not citizens? I don't know. But... A bunch of discriminations, and that's why I feel we should get reparations, too. For a flight? <laughs> <laughs> You're comparing that flight to slavery? Jesus Christ. Well, it's, it's a, a stretch, it's buddy. A, that's a bit of, yeah, that's a reach. It's <laughs> a reach. Uh, it's, it's all about the childhood trauma that we all face. As a, it just happened. Yeah, but <laughs> I've been a Puerto Rican 28 years, my friend. I've gotten a lot of stuff. I've been called the N-word before by random people for no oh, reason. This is awful. Yeah, man. It's trauma. You, it's awful you, because they're not categorizing you correctly. <laughs> <laughs> Get it right. <laughs> I'm a speech. It's your racist <laughs> fucking terms correct. Come on. Jesus. What so what is the racist term for Puerto Ricans? Speak. A First speak? All, <laughs> that's not how you say it, but <laughs> how you say it? It's more like a I instead of E. Yeah. Like that? Spick. Yeah, there you but go. But I thought that was Okay. It's Mexican. And like, yeah, Spanish, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what I thought it was for Mexicans. No, no. Mexican is like wet bag. Puerto Ricans can claim anything, apparently. We can. <laughs> we can. Cause you know what makes a Puerto Rican? So so like Rice and beans. So wait a minute. So when you guys hear that, do you be like <laughs> Like, does it does it have an effect or not really? To me, like, racial slurs only has an effect to emotionally, you know, you know, people that cannot control their temper. Like, I can get offended and do nothing about it. And that's how I've go, gone around, like, you know, my life. Like, people offended me. It's like, okay, I save it in the bank, but I'm not going to act on it. Except that one time that you broke our co-host's fucking arm. Yeah, the you white psycho. guy's arm. Fucking psycho, man. It was an accident, man. <laughs> An act of God. <laughs> it was a, meant to be. Was it an accident when you took his girl out to eat? N nobody yeah, took nobody's up. girl out, out to eat. <laughs> I'm a respectful guy, you know? That's what Puerto Ricans do? Oh, yeah. Respectful. We open doors, you know, if for some reason, like in Pulp Fiction, Vincent Vega, we have to take your girl out. We're not going to give them a foot massage. We're not going to do anything. We're just going to in, out, respectful. That's what we are. I don't know, man. That's not what I heard. <laughs> what have you heard about Puerto Ricans? Nothing. 
Puerto Ricans are like Asians in the race debate. You just just hanging out on the side. Just nobody talks about it. Asians don't get it. Asians jumped in there though for a while. It was like I mean they did shoot up Asian a massage hate. parlor, but yeah, let's ignore the Yeah, and we already know you think that Asians only do massage. No, no, that who, was your friend. Oh, that was, was that? your friend. Oh I, yeah, yeah. Oh yeah. Shout out to Troy who thought Asians only do massage and house cleaning. That's funny. Oh man. Um speaking of house cleaning, I guess. Y'all see Jay Z and Beyonce's newest purchase? No. Second most expensive home ever sold. Most expensive home ever bought in California. Two hundred million. Damn. On There's a, a square property, footage of it. Thirty thousand. Nice. Prime Where? Malibu real estate oh, overlooking Malibu. the ocean. Damn. Is real Second estate a good ever. investment? Well, real estate allegedly um, produces the most billionaires, so I would say yes. Praise Jesus. <laughs> I would I'm say now yes. selling real estate. Anybody hit me up. Hit us up on the DMs if you want to see me out there selling you a house. You see how productive I am on this podcast. I'll do the <laughs> same for you. Uh, but yeah, 200 think, million the house is like weird Kanye style too like everything's like cement and like weirdly you know angry. is it on the beach is it physically it like in the water cause at that <laughs> is it floating <laughs> yeah <laughs> no no it's like I think it's on one of those cliffs and you gotta probably have that long ass thing down to the beach uh, well, how to keep you off the beach I need to be on Alejandro that. could show it right up here in the in the corner of our in the corner oh, okay, oh, okay. There, there you go there you go you see it you see it <laughs> This fucking monstrosity. Look at this thing. Hmm. But you know what the most expensive house ever sold in America was? What? A fucking apartment in New York City. $235 million. I believe that. Them apartments be ridiculous over there. <laughs> it's probably like Would six you be interested floors. in buying an apartment in New York City? I would definitely buy a condo in New York City for sure. You would? Yeah, I would. Let me work on that for Times you. Times Square. Times Square? Times Square. Times Square I mean, is like the hood. Grand, Grand, Grand Central maybe, but Times Square? Times Square's the hood, man. Is it? Oh, speaking of Times Square, guess what else Jay Z's doing? What? This motherfucker is building a casino in Times Square. It's not legal have, yet to. It's, it's you can like have a before. casino in New York. He's building a casino in Times Square. Already? He's getting all the is, people together. Is yet. it approved? Well, I'm fucking, I don't know. It was in the news. So if it, I'm sure he's putting, in, I'm sure he's not putting a lot of effort towards something he can't do, at this point. Interesting. Is it? <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't seem interesting. No, I mean, a casino, that, that's, that's, that's a lot. You want to open a casino? I would love I to. I got an in. What? Where, Nebraska what Indian, passed a law. Yeah, what Indian reservation are we doing nope, this at? Nebraska passed a law. You don't have to have an Indian reservation. We just have to find a town in Nebraska that has a dog track or a horse track. Then we can convert that property into a casino. They're doing it like 30 miles from where I grew up. Mm. What's the population in Nebraska? The whole state? Yeah. We fucking know. But we go to a lot of casinos. There's already thriving casino in Council Bluffs that makes a lot of money off us. No, oh, okay. Maybe. All right. I'm down. Let me look into it for you. <laughs> Round up a couple hundred million. <laughs> oh, man. What about Lil Wayne walking off? stage in LA. Came wow. to an LA show, walked off the stage, said there was low energy in the crowd. Oh, that's pretty hilarious. And he arrived late too. And the reason he and he stopped playing abruptly because they were not cheering on his artist. That I don't know who he was. Oh, it wasn't even him? Oh, uh, was it him? No, he was next to the artist because he was like, you know, playing a song. He brought somebody out. Uh, I wasn't sure who he brought out. And he said he, low energy, so he walked off? Yeah. He said we work way too hard for this shit. So, did he get paid that night? Probably. I'm sure he gets paid before he goes on stage. Wow. That's crazy. It's, I don't know. How to still perform low energy or not, I would have got my money. Yeah, but I'm sure he doesn't give a fuck about See, that, that at this that's point. That's what the NBA fears about Ja Moran. He doesn't want to turn, then him turn into one of those rappers that... Doesn't perform when yeah, there's low energy. The game, like y'all ain't fucking cheering. I'm going back to the locker room. Yeah. 
I think I think that's a pretty much a wrap, right? Yeah. Y'all yeah. energy. I'm gonna walk off this set because your energy's low. Me too. I'm, I'm dying here. Suck. Hold on. No, we didn't talk about something super important. Okay, what's that? Ouch. John Josh. Jones and Tyson Fury talking mad shit to each other. John Jones. UFC. Okay, that's so that's one of yeah, kicking in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Tyson Fury. Who you got? Tyson Fury is a terrible fighter. <laughs> what? <laughs> He's a world champion. Many Tyson times. Fury? Yeah. The Gypsy King, the current heavyweight champion of the world. Oh, Tyson Fury. What are you thinking about? I had no idea. What the, oh, I was thinking about his brother. Oh, yeah. No, not him. No, yeah. No, 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 no. Yeah, I was thinking about his brother the whole time. I'm like, who wins? He can't fight. Tyson Fury, what, John are Jones, they doing, Gypsy King. Are they boxing or are they doing... That is my question because John Jones has got him in anything but boxing, I feel, feel like. Yeah. Because John Jones has got some weird fucking shin that will just break people's faces off. No, what's crazy is that when people start, like when you start fighting and they start kicking you yeah, in the no, shin, yeah. that's some cheating ass shit right <laughs> yeah. there. It's like they're kicking you about seven feet away from you, fucking yep. your shins up. You can't even walk anymore. Exactly. So, in a room, if they both go into a room, no holds barred. John is kicking his ass. But this goes with your heavy thing again. I'm pretty sure Tyson Fury outweighs him by a lot. Like you, gotta, you can't to just be heavy. You got to be agile and be able to catch people. So, then why do we're you think get, they, why, why you keep thinking five, you can six. fight people then? Huh? Why do you just think, keep thinking you can fight people? Because you're just heavy. Small, quarter, <laughs> small quarters. Listen. I already told you guys. We're gonna get you one. Huh? Good. I'm gonna we're gonna Bring book it. it. Bring it. Listen, book it. I'm ready. <laughs> I think people will you guys pay for that? In the comments, will you guys pay for A D getting his ass whooped? Half I'm, a pay per view for A D getting Everyone beat up hates me already. By like comments. a small pygmy fighter. Ah. Oh, <laughs> bring him on. I you ever I will thrash him. <laughs> I want to find like the smallest martial arts master of all time, just like a midget, and just come in here and whoop Man, your fucking I'm ass. Not to no there was there was a black belt that wanted to challenge you, but he lived in Washington. There in was, Washington. Oh, yeah, bro. in Washington Let's State. Let's fly that motherfucker out <laughs> here. Hey, Wait, how much did he weigh? He he said like he was like five seven. Like he 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 wrote down like similar aspects of the person you're trying to fight. <laughs> Five seven, bring his ass out here. I'll whoop it. Do you know his name? So I can send him a personal message. <laughs> Listen, you five seven chump. Get your ass to LA. I will kick your fucking ass. Yeah, Washington, I don't believe in you. <laughs> Y'all ain't got it like that. It rains every day. I ain't day never there. heard of one person whooping ass from Washington. It like, rains every day. I'm from Washington, day. bitch. I ain't never heard that. What's his name? You got let it? Me, let me find him. Call his oh, ass okay. the fuck out by okay. name. Bring on 5-7. That's what I'm going to call him, too. One last thing while he's looking that shit up. Uh, did anyone see the men's three-on-three -three USA basketball team? I seen you send me the things of that. It was, Why are they all white? It was a lot of white people. Is, that, is this my calling? Three-on-three <laughs> 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 on three basketball? How, I don't understand. Like, were those the best teams? Did like the did did your people not get the the flyer? Like, the tryout know, flyer? Like, where, the where was the tryout? I want to know if those are the <laughs> best teams that competed. Where was the tryouts? Iowa, Nebraska. I don't know. Nobody got an invite. I don't know. Ain't no fucking way that those guys are representing. The okay, USA in basketball. so his name is. Nathaniel. Nathaniel. Oh, you fucking dead, Donnie, Nathaniel. Donnie Han, he said, I'm a 132-pound black belt. <laughs> I will whoop your ass, Nathaniel. I volunteer. And then I asked him, you know, do you live in Los Angeles, California? And he's like, hmm, not really. I lived in Washington State. He lived? He lived? Where, where does he live currently? No, he lives in Washington State. My bad. Listen, Nathaniel from Washington, 130, what, 133, 135? 132. 132, bring your ass. <laughs> I will kick your fucking ass. Yeah, I got my money on AD on that one, too. Your name's Nathaniel. 
Trains every day in Washington. He, what does he if know he about said fights? His, if he said his name was Nate, we might be in there. <laughs> he got his whole name Nathaniel out there. Get the fuck out of here. Listen, I'm not losing to Nathaniel. All right? <laughs> I don't give a fuck what happens. And the champion is Nathaniel. <laughs> <laughs> don't worry. We're gonna even if it's not Nathaniel, we're gonna find you. I can't fucking wait. We're gonna find when I get you a, hold a, a of competitor. That, that you know, 130, 135, the weight of my girlfriend. I'm gonna beat the <laughs> shit out of these people. They're gonna be begging me to stop. Hey, next week, though, let's bring, uh, y'all let us know if you want to see Alejandro <laughs> do this basketball game against a non-binary female. He's not losing to her. I'm not losing. And l- apparently she comes on to all our coaches anyway. Hey. Has hey. Her- That's word- rumors. The word is out on you. That's rumors. <laughs> see y'all motherfuckers next time.